Hello and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Castle Monster Coliseum Libra Mod Part 13? 14? I don't know what part it is. It's 13 or 14. It's one of those two. I think it's 14. Uh, yeah, so I've done a lot of grinding off screen. Uh, it has not been a quick grind. It is, uh, effectively, I loaded a second profile, uh, gave them Harpy Lady Sisters because I had a wind symbol. Uh, I don't know. I just randomly picked wind. Uh, and uh, just kept the other monsters in the background and let them slowly get XP, which is like 20 to 25 XP per battle. So it was awful. Uh, it took super long. I forgot how unusable the head of Exodia is because its movement and attack are awful. Look at this. Just just look at it. <laughs> it's just so aggravating. Uh, so I had to level up the slow, la slow way. Oh, increased dark map effect rate by 10%. Oh, that's pretty cool. The entire map. That's fun. Um, Seal Scorpion is another one that's kind of annoying because it's functionally useless. Uh, but I had to... Or he dies in one hit, I should say. And I don't know if you knew this by now. You should. But if a monster dies, they don't get any that match bonus XP at the end of the match. So I like couldn't be risky. I tried being risky a couple times and I kept losing them and I had to restart the match. So that's where we're at. Anyway, we've got some, uh, some fusions to do. Let's start off with the big boy. So I think for this, you just need to have all five pieces of Exodia, like, kind of like that, like with Exodia in the middle and each on the corner. It doesn't matter which position the arms and legs are in. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Um, I have one other monster I can evolve, but I couldn't fit it in this battle, so I think I might just wait and just do it in a later match. There he is! It's that guy. Wow, they didn't focus on him for a very long time at all. All right, let's see. So attack is 416, 450 HP. AP is 250. That is too much. Yeah, so it gets a very big bonus from the symbol. Uh, the map is also helping it a lot too, so that's not completely on its own. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this, uh, so to evolve, Red Eyes and Dark Magician, you need level 40 darkness. So the earliest map you can do that on is Bandit Keats, I believe. Because the map itself is 60 darkness. Uh, darkness is a little bit weird along with light in that they're not actual, like, physical properties. So it's hard to find a map that just has, like, a tile that has, like, darkness or whatever. Whereas, like, for wood, wind, uh, wood, wind, earth. I'm sorry. What is it again? Yeah, earth, wood, wind, water, pretty easy. Uh, fire, not as easy. <laughs> that's another one that's kind of rough. Luckily, I don't think anything requires fire. Uh, but yeah. Alright, so that's Exodia. That's, uh, I've done that before. Let's check this out. Let's see Metal Zoa. Ooh. Movement gets a little boosted. I would not have been able to outrun this Metal Zoa, or this Zoa, with Harpy uh, Sisters. I also like that Exodia doesn't even have a card. He just has, like, his 3D model in-game for his portrait. All right. Kind of looks like a doofus, in my opinion. <laughs> it looks like, uh, in... This is going to be a callback. In Final Fantasy XIII, when the behemoths go from standing on all fours to standing on two legs and, like, pull out a sword and stuff. I don't think thirteen is the thir first game to do that. I think maybe two is. But it's really noticeable because they have a 3D model in thirteen, and it just looks stupid. <laughs> Every time a behemoth stands up, it looks stupid. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, similarly, he's going to be a little boosted. Attack not quite as high as Exodia, uh, but neither is his AP. That's actually huge that his AP seemingly went down. Uh, big attack range. Uh, MP, still a lot. Still a lot of MP. Oh, I didn't even check what your MP is. I assume it's unusable. 350. Get fucked. <laughs> Takes up like three monsters. And uh, yeah, let's see uh, from... Uh, ooh. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Uh, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, often uh, not as popular because uh, Red Eyes Black Metal Darkness Dragon has a way better effect and is way easier to summon. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon is kind of a pain in the ass to summon with Metal Morph. Oh, look at that. His face is two feet. No. No, his face looks silly. 
Uh, yeah, his MP also grows astronomically. Uh, pretty pretty good unit, balance-wise, all, all things considered. Uh, and pretty straightforward attack and uh, defense thing. Okay. So, I'm just gonna... We can actually... Uh, I'll just, just in case, I'll end my turn let the other controller uh, do it. By the way, previously I was using keyboard for player two. Uh, I regretted that a lot because it made it very slow. So I just plugged in a second controller, which is what I should have done from the beginning, truth be told. I would also like to talk about uh, last part. I know I, uh, I complained a lot as I, I was losing. I now feel like that's justified, and I'll tell you why. Having played through all of Area 1 and all of Area 2 with a wind symbol, granted, the, I had like the strongest wind monster and it was uh, and it was pretty leveled up, like it was it hit level 9. So obviously there's a little bit of uh, nuance there, but I did realize that Thunder might be the worst symbol in this entire game. Their HP is so low. And any attack boost they would get is completely nullified by any, like, defense or HP boost that the other symbols get. I genuinely think Thunder is the worst symbol in this game. Uh, it's a blessing that it also boosts Dark Monsters, who are, like, a little bit better balanced. But every single Thunder Monster is awful. <laughs> like, they all die so quickly. So, like, not to toot my own horn, but to toot my own horn. I think I've been playing on hard mode by accident because Thunder is just so fucking, like, ridiculous to use. But, uh, you know, we move on. We do the best we can. Let me double check that I, uh, okay, I didn't want to do that. That's actually very upsetting. Um, I did realize when I was mapping controller two that I forgot that I do have a turbo button, uh, that I just haven't been using. It might not be mapped for this controller right now, but it is mapped on, uh, on player two where you can turn the frame limiter off. <laughs> and I kind of just like, again, forgot that was a thing. All right, yeah, here we go. So we got the new monsters. I did clean this up a little bit, so I like removed monsters and uh, made a little consolidated. Uh, I still have faith in Machine Attacker. I was gonna try and level him up, but I was leveling up so many monsters at once that I just like couldn't level up any extra. Um, let's just do this real quick while I'm speed up. Let me also level up Dark Magician while I'm doing. Actually, maybe not. We'll keep Dark Magician unleveled up because then I can level him up mid match if possible. Uh. Okay, but I uh, I saved, so now I just go back to the uh, to the main menu and we we go proper. Let's I again my biggest problem with this is that MP cost kind of is ballooning, so even though I have all these cool high powered sick monsters, I'm not gonna be able to use them because I can't fit them all on the screen at the same time. And like specifically with the Libra mod, like I need to take all the advantage I have, or I need to field as many monsters as possible. So like. Having like one or two less monsters than the opponent is fine. Having like f three monsters when they have seven, probably not fine. Because I'm not really one-shotting the way I would I would prefer. But uh, yeah, so I think the next time we can upgrade our monster might be Yami Merrick or Yami Bakora, I think have pretty intense uh, stuff or pretty intense fields. I need to play, do I have Gaia? Now that I think about it, what I think you can you buy like him, right? Do? Not that I really care. I used Gaia, the Dragon Champion, in my last playthrough. Uh, the one, like, many a year ago. So I'm not really worried about getting him, but I am just trying to get all the fusions and stuff I can. Thunder Dragon would be really nice, but I don't know where the fuck to find him. Oh, I debated leveling up Easter Statue of Easter Island and, um, what's-his-face? Uh, Destroyer Golem to get Millennium Golem, and I decided not to. Just because they're Earth Monsters, I'm probably not going to use them anyway. They're not boosted by my symbol. And you really need to play to your symbol in this game. Like, really badly. Alright, no. I think I got everything. What okay. Well, yep. I can't... God, the, my, the biggest enemy right now is the what menus. Because like Circle does not match through the dialogue like I hoped it would. Alright. Who are we gonna face? I don't actually know yet. It could be anyone. Well, not anyone. There's only so many options. All right, we're in area four. So we have Shadi, who's a fire type user. Seto Kaiba, who's an earth type user. Oh my God, you would be an earth type user. <laughs> I would say uh, earth was still pretty annoying. Not as annoying, but still pretty annoying. Uh, 
when I was playing the second one. Wood, wood became my new nemesis because wind doesn't do shit to wood. Uh, corridors of madness, wind type, interesting. Then thunder for wicked ceremonial type site. I think this is where I usually level up dark magician. It's in this match because this is where you can find uh, darkness pretty easily. Don't forget, you can always check a stage before you do it. So you need to get 40 darkness. I don't know if it's additive. Like, I don't know if the map has 20 darkness and then one spot has 20 darkness, if that counts as 40, or if it's just like you need to have either a spot or a map be above 20. But yeah, I think uh, I think these areas down here, or maybe it doesn't matter. I think it's just the map. Yeah, the entire map has 50 darkness, so you can level up dark mission here. Okay, all right. Oh man, who do I attack first? Uh, Earth shouldn't be that bad. I mean, I have a plenty of darkness monsters, so I should be able to crush Earth monsters. It's just that they have so much HP. Um, let's start with Shadi. So fire goes with wind. So like wind is the secondary type for that. So we're kind of outside of that circle with thunder and dark. Like we don't really do anything special against them, but they don't do anything special against us either. So we just have to play a normal match. Oh yeah, I do remember this map. I remember sending my monsters down the middle to try and uh, meet, head them off. Once and for all, let me test your real strength. You let always say once and for all, and then we somehow end up fighting again. I'm tempted to think, Shoddy, that you're just around here just to just to be a menace. Just to Shoddy, periodically drop exposition on me. Also, this is Shoddy without the scales, so we're fine. The key means nothing to me. Oh, I should mention this too, and I hope it, my luck hasn't changed. We're about to find out. Okay. So, I think I lost almost every single one of those like card flips in my second file even though I've like barely lost in this file like I lose like maybe one out of every four times I feel like whereas the opposite in the other file so I don't know if it's like symbol based or, or not I don't know what's going on oh that's right the gimmick here is that they uh yeah I remember now the gimmick here is you uh they swap or you your symbol has to start in the middle but your monster starts somewhere else so your like symbol is kind of exposed um, I'm gonna look up Shadi. I think Shadi might be the one who has like a special thing going on here. Yes. Uh, no. Shadi's not special. Uh, so, but he is much stronger than he is in the in the normal game. So, he his you'll know you have a special duel if you get Firewing Pegasus. But the rest of his monsters are the same, and they all have the uh, uh, the same levels, which are seven and six. We've, we've really taken a step up here. Oh no, it's Bakora who has uh, different monsters. That's right. Um, and then I think it's later. Uh, I'm trying to look at this. Yeah, it looks like you fight Shadi again. It looks like Shadi has separate versions of which he, based on your symbol. And so does Ishizu and sh so does uh, Pegasus. They have like custom uh, monsters that you have to fight based on your symbol. But this one is pretty simple so far. Let me... Where's the game? Yeah, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna reset just to uh, get my monsters back because some of them are still knocked out from the last one. Man, this is so weird. This is so fucking weird to have the symbols out here like this. The only thing I could think of to do here would be to like try and block his symbol from progressing, but then that would also block my symbol, so it wouldn't really be worth it. All right, and we'll just surrender. Surrender. Such a weird mechanic that the pieces are knocked out for the battle after when it's so easy to get around. Like, if the game were still, like, based on the difficulty of the vanilla version, I wouldn't give a shit. Because I'd just launch with whatever I have because I'd be so much stronger than the opponent. But you really need all of your resources uh, present and accounted for for this. Still got it. Okay. <laughs> it's funny that uh, turbo mode works on my other controller, but not on my <laughs> my main one. I think I'm gonna map it weird or something. Bum, 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 bum. 
Oh, wait. Oh my god. MP is unlimited here. Oh, you're... You don't know what you're in for, shoddy. You don't know. That was the only thing holding me back. Let's go, baby! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I get to use all my cool monsters. This rocks. Alright. Uh, this is fucking rad. I wonder... That's not a setting I fucked up, is it? Because I set the multiplayer to... To be MP infinite. But I don't know if that's like meant, what it meant to be. It would make sense if it wasn't. It would make sense if they're like, nah, just send out whatever you have. But that seems crazy. Because look at all these super powered monsters I have. I get to use all of them. Uh, I'll actually use Machine Attacker instead of Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. Let him stretch his legs. Get some, uh, get some stuff going. Oh, your attack is pretty bad, but your movement's very good. But I need that, like, boost from the symbol, really. Is the main reason I'm using it. Oh my god, all my monsters are lowered because it's a light field. Great. So much fun. Uh, yeah, because I can't level up Dark Magician here, so there's no point. That's so wild. I hope I didn't fuck that up and do that. Right? Okay. Let's put Harpy Lady Sisters first, because they have the greatest movement. Meaning they have the highest chance of me to just fucking ding the, the symbol before anything gets going. Uh, yeah. I'll put them right on the edge here. On the edge of glory. And I go first, too, which is going to come in handy. Um, let's see. What else are, is our movement looking like? How do you move again? Diagonal. Oh, wait. Obliterate. Inflicts all damage on all pieces, both friendly and foe, anywhere on the map. Well, not anywhere on the map, because... Uh, because it only works in that, like, one field. So they have to get close. But that's still pretty helpful. Zoe, I think, just gets Metal Morph again. I don't think he gets it right away. I don't know if Red Eyes gets anything. I think Red Eyes had an ability before, didn't he? Alright, let's see. Movement 2... Uh, movement three. I guess Exodia would be the... No, I did that wrong. I guess Exodia would, would be another good one to get out pretty early. Let's put... Yeah, let's put Harpy right here. Because Harpy could still be dodged. And then... Summoned Lord Exodia. Yeah, if I put him, like, right here, I can just run straight towards him. And then... I guess Red Eyes would be next. Movement three, yeah. Or Metal Zoa. What's your movement again? Three, okay. I can put Metal Zoa up here. This game just got so much more fun now that I can like play with all my toys instead of like having to choose. <clears throat> Machine Attacker, I'll put you right next to it. I'll put you on this. Oh no, I don't want to do that actually. I don't really want to put Summon Skull there, either. Uh, and then Barrel Dragon. You're just, just doing his best. I'll just put you right here. Okay. This is going to go either really well or instantly fall apart. It's time to so if I can get Exodia... Okay, I can't. I didn't have enough AP to get him out. That makes sense. Uh... His AP is astronomical. 250. Well, I'm only missing it by a couple points, so like one symbol upgrade fixes that, at least for the moment. I'm sure as he levels up, it's, it's, it's going to get even worse. Um, I can summon you. I don't think I can summon any of my other monsters. No. <laughs> Jesus. All right. It's going to move right here. You are not only facing me, but also strategies honed throughout millenniums of history. Right. Okay. I guess. Yeah, it's moving away. It knows. It knows a storm is coming. Launcher spider. Okay. Uh, Harpy lady, I think. I guess that's how you get your third harpy lady without duping. It's my turn. Okay. Can I move you and Summon Exodia in the same turn? I don't think I can. No. That takes a lot, actually. 
All right, who's the best AP wise here? Uh, it would have to be one of these two. Could have opened up Exodia first without moving Harpy Lady, but eh. Did he not move his symbol? Interesting. I guess I didn't move mine either. Launcher Spider again. Oh, you've got weird movement. I don't like that. Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. I don't know which one. Number two or number one. Parrot Dragon. Oh, now they're going after my symbol. I should be a little more careful. Yeah, I think he didn't move because he realized he'd be in a uh, Harpy Lady's range if he did that. Which is smart. But we have ways around this. I think... If I move here, I can use my special attack to hurt him. And then if he moves over one, I can just also move over one. My special attack does a lot. It just takes so much. I really need to boost my AP if I'm going to use the strategy, because I am slow going. Or I need to be more careful about who I opened first. I mean, this one made sense because I was going for a literal Blitzkrieg, so... Not much else I could have done differently. Ooh, speaking of Blitzkrieg, they are catching up on my symbol now. I should really be moving it more. It might already be too late, because my symbol's going to die in one hit no matter what. I don't really care about getting any of Shoddy's monsters, because none of them really interest me. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move over here, and then special move 350. I don't know if this does exactly 350 every time. Okay, I wasn't sure because I took turn animations off in my other files, so I wasn't sure if they defaulted to off or anything. But yeah, I don't know if this does exactly 350. It's supposed to ignore defense to do it, so maybe, which is pretty handy. But I don't know if it does more if it's like affected by my attack or something. Technically, Harpy Lady should be boosted a little bit because the map here is a little windy. Huge. Yeah, so it's 350 exactly. Ah, that was a nice attack. But do you have more to back it up? It's funny you say that. Yes, actually, because Harpy Lady can do their special attack twice. So yes is the answer. Wow, you take a lot to move. <laughs> it makes sense, but I'm like still like in awe. No, hold on. Let's see. I might need to start adding other monsters who, like, have better AP regeneration. Like, which is a weird reason to add more monsters, but I might I need to. Your lack of skill. Me? I What? Sir? You got one shot. I'm very wary of his monsters that are moving. Harpy Lady, like, missed it by, like, one. So did Launcher Spider, I think. I think this is how I beat it last time, too. <laughs> what do you mean, not looking good? I'm li What? What? Sir? This is literally a victory. What do you mean? <laughs> Excuse me? Why do they think I'm doing worse? Is it because my monsters are still in capsules? Yeah, lesson learned, though. I'm going to have to play a lot slower if I keep my AP where it is. They recommend upping your AP after you fully max out the effect of your uh, of your symbol, which I might have to do. I still think like having smaller monsters with better AP regen might be like another solution. Incredible, Yugi! There is nothing to do but admit my defeat. You do have kind of a wacky map, so I I don't really have to engage with your mechanics if I have any monster that can move like kind of fast. Easy. It's not Shoddy's fault. It's a weird map design. I lost this game. Yes. True, but I feel this is the beginning of something. Yeah, you're gonna rematch me later. The beginning, perhaps so. We will meet again, Yugi. I promise you that. I believe you. Hundred XP for a symbol kill. I think that's guaranteed. Which means our Harpy Lady just made it to level nine. Nice. Yeah, I think mine was level six in the last one, but. It leveled up naturally when I was using it to grind, so I just like transferred over like the level 8 version as well, just because I was like, well, I'll just save some grinding, I guess. Let's go! How much symbol XP did I get for that? Got a huge bonus there. 
42. That's not bad, all things considered. Uh, like, I'll take that. And a symbol level up. Let's go. Yeah, so I need to keep maxing out my effect because that's so important. Like, I already wasted too much by putting that in AP, I think. So, like, I could do one so I can summon Exodia from the rip. I just don't know if it's worth it. Like, I could just do this. But, I don't know. Maybe, I guess. And then I'll just use effect strength to, like, level it all up next time. Yeah, why not? Might be a bad decision. But I've already, like, lost the effect advantage, so I might as well just keep, like, playing the way I am. Oh, I probably shouldn't have saved over that one. Just in case, but that's fine. Probably. If not, I can reload and show how easy it is to be shoddy, because none of the monsters I recruited are needed to be shoddy. I really just need Harpy. And if I didn't need Harpy, uh, Machine Attacker would have done it, and then I think uh, Red Eyes could have done it. Anyone who could move like decently fast. Um, okay. That was shoddy. I guess we should do Pakora so I can level up Dark Magician in his field. I want to see if it was just shoddy who had the infinite one. Or if they're all going to have infinite from now on. Because I genuinely need to like rethink my strategy. Play a little bit slower. Again, I think, I was, I think I'm fine. It was just that place in particular I had to be more careful with. Because I like needed to bum rush him. I flailed against your host body. <laughs> that was the one of the closest duels I've had. You may have defeated Bakura, but his skills are complete garbage when compared to mine. I hope that's not true. Oh really? Then let me put your abilities to the test. Yugi hit him with an oh really. It will be my pleasure to destroy you, Yugi. Also, Bakura with the black coat is pretty pretty iconic. It's funny because he doesn't wear it until like the very last season, doesn't he? Or I guess he wears it in Battle City, I think. My memory is hazy of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I guess it's time to read through all of Yu-Gi-Oh again for like the 15th time. Might as well. What a good series, genuinely. Like, very, very good series, top tier. Okay. Oh, let's check on Bakura too. So Bakura has a thunder symbol. Uh... He either has Dark Fire, Water, Wind, Wood, Thunder, or Light and Earth. I think he matches your symbol. The difference is... I'm trying to look. He has like some slight differences here. Uh, he does have a special version as well. I can't tell what it is. Oh, I can, but it's weird. Instead of Curse of Dragon, he has Whiptail Crow, which is down a downgrade in my opinion. Uh, and for the other version, if you have a Light and Earth symbol, he replaces Dark Magician Girl with Trihorn Dragon. But he just has Trihorns in this version. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He has... This is baffling to look at. He... <laughs> in the other version, like the Light and Earth version, he also replaces Ryukushin with Whiptail Crow instead of Cur uh, Curse of Dragon. But then he also swaps Dark Magician Girl and Trihorn Dragon... One of them is level 4 and one of them is level 6, but it's different depending on which version you're fighting. That just seems arbitrary. I will say, it does seem like uh, I fucked up. Because he gets a machine attacker at level 5 if you have light and earth, which like would save me so much grinding. But that's fine. I am going to hunt for his... Uh, probably hunt for his Trihorn Dragon, because that's a pretty cool monster. And then I don't know what else at that point. Really, I'll just take a victory. Okay, I need to look at what everyone's AP gen is. Time Wizard's not bad. Shovel Crusher is more cost, so not really as worth it. That's not bad. It, it costs a lot of AP to summon him, but also he gains a lot of AP. Um, I just need to start thinking about this because it's you know, my monsters have a lot of energy. Dark Magician Girl is actually not bad for this. Um, neither is Dark Magician. 
I'm gonna do Dark Magician though, because this is uh this is where we level him up. And then Dark Magician Girl might be good to bring along too. Summon skill's pretty bad for this, but he's good in other ways, so it's worth it. Look at that attack bonus, baby. Oh my god. It's crazy. I think I might skip out on Barrel Dragon. He doesn't really provide as much. And I still want to use all of my big beasties. Uh yeah. Yeah, I think that's the way. Okay. Also, I can play a little bit slower here, so I'm not as worried. Um, I think this is mostly almost a mirror of Bandit Keats. Uh, yeah, I think this is almost a mirror of Bandit Keats arena with like a middle part. I guess not, right? I guess because there's like these tiles and everything. This is also kind of a big arena. I'll, like now that I'm looking at it more, like there's a lot of tiles here. Okay. Um, it doesn't really matter where I put him then because it, I don't really have to dodge rounds or anything to, to get where I need to go. Um, maybe this would be good. I can't see all of his movement because of the like inclines and stuff. I'm trying to avoid that other uh, thing. I should be okay. Uh, I'll put him somewhere on the side because he moves diagonal so it doesn't matter as much. Uh, we'll put Harpy Lady somewhere where, where they can just shoot forward. Uh... Let's see. Metal Zoa also moves diagonally, so I'll put him on the other side from Exodia. Um, and then Red Eyes just moves straight, so I'll put him there. Dark Magician will be evolving, but he does move diagonally, so we'll do that. Dark Magician Girl has got an even weirder movement. So I'll just put them back here. And then summon skull. I'll put it right in the middle. Tried and true. Old faithful, if you will. Okay, I think I'll probably free Dark Magician first, because he gives it a good AP bon uh, bonus. And because I want to evolve him. It's time to start. So let's do let's free you. I have 136 level edge. I don't think it's enough for anyone here. Oh, just enough for Dark Magician Girl. That's actually, that's good to know, because both of those two together massively increase the max AP I can do. I think I'm going to try and free everyone before I start moving anyone up. Just try and keep my monsters together. Probably into a victory for one of us, if I had to guess. If I had to wager. He summoned Dark Magician Girl first as well. I think it's Ushioni, which means we're not on the special version. Royal Guard. Uh, that's Curse of Dragon. Okay. I will use all my strength to defeat you. Yeah. Interesting. What's? Why can't you evolve right now? What am I? What am I missing here? Is this not dark enough? Do I need to wait for the the arena to change or something? I think if I remember, the middle of this arena gets super dark. Like, thinking way back. Alright, I don't want to move you just yet. But, that is not great. Truth be told. Uh, who gives the best? Let's see. All pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I guess Harpy's sisters. It's pretty decent. We'll do Exodia after that, just because he costs a lot. And then, who costs the most? We'll do Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Alrighty. I think we'll probably have enough to move everyone. The math is a little murky because AP only goes to 999. And all of my monsters cost roughly like up over 100. Another Royal Guard. Uh, yeah, they just cost vaguely like over 100. And Exodia costs 250, so. Because always takes up one fourth of my max like action points. For you, uh, for you. Okay, so everyone's out in the open now. And we get almost our full AP back every turn. I'm gonna try and move Dark Magician up to see if I can like get closer for when the arena changes there. Oh, this is another thing I want to say. 
it's I talked about this before, but the fact that the arenas don't change as you get later, like they just feels like they don't have like a random event, but like I felt like most of the early stages had that. Like um, Tristan's stage, or I'm sorry, not Tristan's, Mokuba's stage had like electricity appear. Weevil's stage had like multiple phases. The water stage and Joey's uh, thing. Uh, Taya's stage had like a light and dark swap. It's like they all have that and it just slowly fades away. Like Mako had like a ship rise up. You barely see any of that in uh, Area 3. Like for some reason they just like stop using that mechanic. Right, let's move Big Hoss up over here. Uh, and then it's just Dark Magician Girl, huh? Okay, well. It's the only option. I guess I'll just do it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to move all my pieces in one turn. I'm going to have to drop, like, one monster to, like, a weaker version. Yep. Good start. Just like, didn't even look. I was like, there's no way you can go that far that fast. <laughs> so stupid! I moved into like the exact spot that she could attack into. I even thought about it, I was like, should I move all the way up? Wow, Exodia is a huge fucking character model. You do be big. <laughs> She's, oh no, my right shin. Ah, that's like half my health right there. My monster's not beaten yet! Joke's on her. I'm going to obliterate. Ooh, Pumpkin. And I think that's Ryuk. I don't know what that is. Is that Ryukishin? Yeah, Ushioni has some interesting move, too. Her movement tech. Things. What do you mean things aren't looking good? We just started. Oh, that could be fun. That could be fun. 327 to both of them versus 391. Okay. I guess I could take out Arc Magician Girl right here because his attack is pretty massive. But I don't know if my special ability is affected by my symbol type. So I think 327 is supposed to be like the base power. Actually, I could be wrong on that. I think the base power might be lower normally. I don't know if this it's effective. Just this 327. It does use a lot of AP to do it, but it does hit both of their monsters. It's just a matter of if I think I can finish these two off with my other monsters. Currently, not that confident. Uh, I guess I could finish off Dark Magician Girl. Uh, could I finish off... Oh, yeah, and I can finish off Ushioni. Because I think those two don't require that much AP. All right, let's try it out. Let's see if uh, let's see if this works. I want to see if it kills. I guess the other thing is maybe I should try and weaken them with the other two first, so that Exodia gets the XP for Obliterate. I just don't know if Exodia if it'll kill on its own. Maybe we'll just do a test here, just see how much damage it does. Is the thing for save states is it F1? Yes. Okay. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens when we Obliterate. What a big lad. The head of Exodia does have like kind of a cape, and he seems like he loses that when he uh, evolves. That is obliterate. That's that's the thing. That's the move. That's the thing he does. <laughs> I like the animation in the field too. 252. Okay, so it's not doing full damage. 263. Okay. Now that I know that. Whoop. Okay. Just doing some testing live. I don't really care if this puts Dark Magician Girl. This is the cool thing, too, is I don't really. I'm not as scared anymore of, like, my monsters going down because everyone on my team is, is like, super jacked up. So if I lose one, I have multiple left. It's not like before when I was like I have like one, two, maybe three good monsters and the rest are just trash. Dare I say this is where the real game starts is in area four. We'll see. Some good XP there. 
sense your desperation. Why are they acting like I'm losing? I don't understand. Because he got a hit on me? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem like it's enough to, to warrant this. Oh, you know what I did just realize? Hmm. Obliterate hits friends and foes. Which means it's going to hit these two now. Because uh, they moved into range. Well, if it wasn't going to kill them, it's not going to kill us either, right? What's the worst that could happen? Also, let's see uh, Red Eye's Dark Metal Dragon's attack. It definitely is just slightly green Red Eye's. It's crazy they spent so much time modeling this and Red Eye's and then not use them because they're like an endgame reward, maybe. Alright. I think... This is going to hurt everyone. Oh. It says both friend and foe. I don't think it does hit friend. Or, I don't think it... I think it's because they're they're darkened because they already moved. So, I think it will hit them. Yeah, it's probably going to damage them still. It'll be worth it for that sweet, sweet XP. I hope it raises his, his uh, starting AP to like 300. Making him like unusable. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I care. <laughs> Me when I care. <laughs> Free level up. We take those. Uh, AP does not rise. Thank fucking god. Attack rises. Eight plus AP rises barely. Atta uh, or HP goes up. Defense doesn't go up. Symbol rates go up though, which is nice. Okay, I hadn't really planned further than that. Truth be told. So I guess I should start moving up. That's all I got. Okay. Hey, the good news is, uh, when some of my monsters start getting destroyed, I'll have AP enough to move all of my monsters at once. <laughs> I wouldn't even consider this a real duel. You are losing, sir. This isn't very big, and don't put in the newspaper that I got mad energy. Yeah, I figured they'd go after, uh... They'd go after Exodia. That's fine, I got my level up. I got what I needed. I got what I came for. I'm gonna slowly get that to level 9. Royal Guard's an interesting card. Very interesting design. Uh, I forget what it is. Is it, is it like an 1800 point monster? I don't remember its like parameters in the game. Let me look it up. I feel like it's an old design too. Let's see. Uh, what was I going to look up? I forgot. Royal Guard Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Royal Guard anime, Royal Guard. What do you do? Yeah, 1900 attack, 2200 defense, but it's a six star monster, so it's it's not a good card. Okay, well, they only destroyed Exodia, who also took out two, so I think that's a pretty worthwhile trade. Why aren't you evolving? Is what I'm currently stuck at, because it worked for Red Eyes. I wonder if they requ I think if I remember correctly, I think the requirement for. Dark Magician might be higher than, like, everyone reports. Like, I don't think it's 40. I think it might be 50 or 60. I think I ran into this last time. Um, so we'll see. All right, we can attack you. 194. Uh, who else can move here? Okay, I can't move up because of Dark Magician Girl in the way. And then he's in the way, too. So even if I could move up, it wouldn't matter. Uh... I want to leave Dark Magician alive just in case I'm like missing something. Move Summon Skull up for some backup. I think I have to. Ooh, special ability. Use your special ability. Inflicts, bar uh, inflicts damage on all pieces, both friendly and foe, anywhere on the map. That would not currently be great for me. Uh, and it would only attack one monster. So, I'd like to not do that. 
I guess I can do it this way. Yeah, we, could, we should both be able to take out Royal Guard. Again, I'll probably lose Dark Magician Girl next turn, but we're... He's losing more than I am at the moment, or at least we're in the lead by one. That's all it takes. I let you have that one to be nice. Did you? Don't expect me to be nice again. I just, it's not very believable. <laughs> so I, I know what to tell you, it just, it sounds like you're coping. Which, like, you shouldn't have to, but that is what it sounds like. I'm losing Exodia so far is not bad. So effectively, we lost one and took out three because we lured the other one into attack range. What I should do is move my monsters so they all kind of move in together. Ooh, 100 XP off the rip, huh? We take that. Uh, attack, uh, or AT went up, which is attack, duh. Uh, HP went up a little bit, AP plus went up a little bit. All right, not bad overall. Pretty good level up all around. Um... Yeah, I can move. Oh, here we go. Aha! Now I can guard my friends while also dealing damage myself. That's a lot of attack. That's a lot. Alright, let's see what Metal Zoa looks like. I mean, the only thing that I'm going to point out here is it does feel nice that my grinding... Oh, that's, that's sick. It feels like my grinding was worth it. Because I'm actually, like, putting up a fight. So the four fucking hours of grinding feels a lot more, feels a lot better now. This is not good. Finally, he admits it. I'm gonna move you here because I think some darkness shit is gonna happen there. I can't move anyone else. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I think I already moved you. That's why. I can just move my symbol. Here, I'll do this. RP's uh, still way at the back, but I haven't really needed them. For now, it makes it so much sweeter when you lose. Maybe. Ooh, out of nowhere, huh? From the fucking top rope over here. Yeah, they're starting to creep up. I, is this the arena I'm thinking of that gets darker? I might be confusing with a different one. I'm gonna have to check out Yami Merrick's arena as well, or maybe even just do like another two-player thing and just evolve just Dark Magician. It really wouldn't take that long to set up. I should just do it. Especially now that I know MP cost isn't a thing. Because the sooner we get that, the sooner we can start gaining levels with them. Cool. Yeah, no, or or that, I guess. Sure. Why wouldn't you get a free hit? Sure, yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah, you should be able to one-shot it. I, I couldn't one-shot you with fucking Exodia, but yeah, you can one-shot my level 4 Dark Magician with a level 6 Curse of Dragon. That seems normal. Yeah, I think that's fine. That seems balanced. I'm right back to being annoyed. I'm right back to being fucking annoyed. I thought that even if someone could hit him, he'd last one hit. Foolish of me. Truly foolish. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. Don't put in the newspaper that I was mad, but I am in fact mad. Okay, um, feels like this one should go to Red Eyes to finish it off. Get some extra XP, fucking 20, 20 HP left. But he managed a one shot before he got taken down, great. So happy for him. We love to see people succeed, truly. I'm a little bit more iffy about this fight now. I haven't done the I haven't done the math. I haven't counted. But it kind of feels like we're a lot more even now. <laughs> Especially since my red eyes is uh one hit away from death. But I got that level up, baby. Uh yeah, this is all good. This is fine. AP didn't rise, nice. Hmm. He never had this much power. True. I did not have this power when I fought you before. That is, that is verified. Alright, they have three monsters left, and I have four. Mine are all pretty strong, though. These are all, like, either max level or...
much stronger. Ah, oh, shit. I don't want to move all the way up with you. Although, I guess this would protect uh, Red Eyes for a turn. And Harpy is pretty thick. Pretty big HP, pretty big defense. I might just do that. Can't attack anyone from here, which sucks. So I think I just have to stay where I am. Summon skill. And they moved in exactly the right spot, so I couldn't hit anyone from here. Those ma those bastards. They knew! Um, I don't know the best place for me to move to be able to attack effectively. I could move way over here and try and, like... Or even over here, try cut around to, like, try and snipe his symbol at this point. What is your movement again, Pump Gang? Three diagonal, three attack. So it can't really... This is kind of its blind spot. It can't really move forward here. Uh, and then this is... Oh, this is Trihorn Dragon. Uh, wow, he has a hefty attack. Plus three movement, plus three attack. So he can move up that way to attack. And then you can move up to attack. Okay. I think the solution is to try and consolidate the troops. What call? You have no right to keep me waiting. Shut up. <laughs> you, you son of a bitch. Shut up. Um, we'll check this. Yeah, so he can move diagonal and attack forward. So he can still attack Harpy right from there, which he might. So I might move back here. Just to give me more attack options. Really wish I could land an attack from here. Um... I mean, this would lock it so he couldn't move forward. He, if he did, he'd have to go from the side, which I don't think he'd have a problem with, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'll stay back here, actually. We'll see. This might be a mistake. Um, could move Summon Skull up as well. I'll leave him where he is. We'll see. I'm playing. I'm playing careful. I don't know what he can do, and I can't reach him this turn, so I have to let him make a move first. Even if that puts Harpies into, like, the line of fire. Harpy might... Oh, or fuck right off, I guess. That's not what I expected. That I did kind of expect. Oh, still not a kill. Wow. Amazing what happens when you're not a Dark or a Thunder monster. There he is! He's so stubby. He looks so weird. I think the card art looks way better. This is his attack. Oh, I thought he was going to do a belly flop. It's like, what? Yeah, he looks weird in 3D. His card art is a lot cooler than that, I think. He looks very stubby. If this keeps up. Ugh. Okay, they didn't move up either. I wonder if they sense the danger they're in. It's my turn. Uh, okay, so from here, we can start attacking. Uh, I can land an attack right from here. 131. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's respectable. I'm not killing anybody with that, but I am chipping them down. Oh, that was the other thing, too, is that my symbol boosts the attack of all my monsters, but the wind symbol actually boosted the defense. So basically, every single match I did with Harpy Sisters, any monster they tried to attack me with only did 10 damage out of 400 HP. So I was able to just like throw them in the middle while I slowly picked off the monsters one by one. Even against wood monsters, it just meant I had to attack them two or three times instead of one. I can attack right from here. That will not kill. Okay. Maybe let Summon Skull. Yeah, Summon Skull try and soften him up a little bit too. Since he's already max level. Okay, well that's just going to kill. That doesn't help anyone, Summon Skull. Sp share the XP, you greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, that will not kill either. I guess Metal Zoa needs a levels more than Red Eyes because Metal Zoa is still level one, whereas Red Eyes hit level three just in this battle. So we'll do that. I do want to get grab Trihorn. I think Trihorn's gonna be a lot of fun. I need to find a big monster that's also like restores a lot of AP because currently it's just the Dark Magicians. Or just expand my AP even more. But even then, the max AP being 999 is still kind of limiting in this format. Ugh. I'll move over here. Puts me in a slightly better position, I think. 
Wonder, I mean, Pumpkin is probably going to come back. I think he's going to move to the same spot Trihorn is in. Because that's where he was before. I just don't know who's going to target. He'll probably try and kill Harpies, which is fine because they're max level, so whatever. Another personal kid. Mechs fighting dinosaurs. Let's go! Finally! Some quality content. I will graciously take that. AP does not go up. That was my main focus. AP... AP, AP. Okay, yeah. Some respectable increases. My biggest crutch right now is that... Or my biggest failing right now is that none of my monsters have... Uh, they're all very strong monsters, but they don't level up. Oh, here it is. This is where it gets darker. If only Dark Magician was fucking alive. Ah! That's fine. We can just go to Bandicoots. Yeah, so I think if you... I can't see it right now. Oh, wait. I just did a step on this. Yeah, so the ground is now 40 dark, which is the requirement, and the map is 50. Fuck, I could have just done it from the beginning. I'm, like, debating just restarting the match, but there's no reason to. I can just do it in a two-player battle. Okay. God, it was so easy the whole time. I'm so annoyed. Uh, I can't believe he didn't do it either. Like, even by accident. Yeah. That's fine. Wow. A one-shot. Oh, because he's, he's down in the Miesma. That makes sense. So he's, he's even more jacked up. Well, they've got two and we've got three. Two of mine are kind of on their last legs, though, so I'm a little bit worried. It's still very possible for me to lose here. I think if I can get rid of Pump King, then I can probably win. Because I don't think Royal Guard is going to be as scary, but this is still a tough spot to be in. Oh, and they leveled up from killing Summon Skull. That's fun. My defenses are falling! Oh, no! Relax. I didn't even move Royal Guard. Interesting. I guess it's actually guarding the symbol. Uh, okay. Yeah, what a what an asshole. They moved in a spot that I couldn't I can't hit them from. Uh I can't even move over there. I think my best course of action with Harpy right now is to try and sneak around. Cause I can't really get a pot shot from here. I guess I could use them as bait. Just leave in a spot where they're more more likely to hit them, but things aren't looking great here. I don't think I can do much because of the positioning they're in. Good move on his part to put a pumpkin there. I really, it's it's really got me. I'm kind of stuck. Uh, pumpkin attacks directly, right? Like he attacks forward. He moves diagonal. Okay, so so he can move one, two, basically anything down this lane or anything down anything down these three lanes. Pumpkin can reliably hit. And if he starts moving out forward uh, more, he can hit these lanes too. So really, anything here. The only recourse I really have is to go backwards, but I don't want to do that. Also, even here, he like blocked Metal Zoa's movement at the same time. Like, what a fucking Chad. He somehow completely fucked up my positioning. Uh, Alright, that should be away from Pumpkin. I don't think he can hit me from that far back. Uh... I think the same solution, just like keep moving like super far away. Maybe even like different directions. No, because I think he can attack that far. Oh, let's see, if he moves here, one, two, three. I can still, I think I'm safe here. This gives me more stuff I can do next turn. Let's see. I don't really mind if I lose this, if I'm being completely honest. I lose a lot of really good level ups, but who knows um, it means I can restart and like press that button right away because all my monsters are dark too. Interesting. Interesting. What are we planning here? So you have three movement diagonal attack though. So if I move position red eyes here, I can hit him next turn. Okay. Harpy, I don't really know what to do with you right now. You're not really in a super great spot. 
Um, I can move you back here. So I can just move up and hit you that way. Let's see. Was it your movement was diagonal? Or no, your movement's normal. So you can move back and forth. This also means that he can't attack from here because he can't move straight forward. Pumpkin is still another story. But he should theoretically not be able to hit. He, he can't move there either unless they both move out of the way. And then one, two, three. So he shouldn't be able to hit from there. I think. I think Pumpkin's more concerned with Metal Zoa right now anyway. Oh, I, have, I forgot. I get a special ability. Oh, increased its own defense by 80 points last two turns. Well, I don't think I can move if I use my special ability. It kind of wastes a turn. So I don't know if it's worth it just yet. Okay, Pumpkin can almost certainly hit me from here. So maybe I use it this turn and then move next turn? Let's try it. 80 defense is nothing to shake a stick at. That's that's pretty good. Uh, okay. Let's see. I'd like to get Pumpkin, but if I can get into a position where I can just snipe the symbol, I will. As I thought. Oh, he moved in my line of movement. What an asshole. Royal Guard also moved. He's playing defensively. Just throwing me off. Yeah, because now I can't move further this way. Such an asshole. He keeps stunting my movement. <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass. Uh, let's see. I think if I, I can move here, but then I'm also stuck. You are not a good person. My hope is that if I move here, he'll move into a position where he can attack me instead of just trying to block me. Which I would be fine with because my defense is boosted right now. Okay, Harpy can't attack Royal Guard from there. Which makes it a little bit more annoying. Um, let's see. You also can't attack from there. I guess they can move, like, separately. Maybe the solution. So they'll move kind of in tandem instead of just one after another. Um, try moving up one. Let's see, what is your range again? So let's see. Movement three, so one, two, three. So currently can attack Harpy Lady from this position. So I have to move Harpy Lady at least one place. Probably move it over one. Yeah, that might be. I think this is the solution. And I can just move up next turn and hit him there. There, I think that works. Let's see. I let Pumpkin. Laugh for now. It makes it so yeah, yeah. I let Pumpkin get in a position where they could hit me. Let's see if they take advantage of it. No, they keep moving further back. Interesting. This is so weird. Oh, I actually misread that. Whoops. Yeah, I, I looked at that wrong. <laughs> Is what happened there. I miscounted the squares! Ugh. I mean, the benefit is that something fucking happened for the first time in like three turns. But obviously that was not my preferred outcome. This guy's got a keyblade, it's crazy. Ha! Huh. Yeah! Yeah! This is it! Yeah, yeah, we're all leveling up. Shut up. Next metamorph worn off. Okay. I mean, I could activate it again. Let's see what he does now. Let's do it again. <laughs> He's not really doing anything, which is very strange. Uh, this did give me the opportunity I needed. And I'm on the ground, so I get boosted attack. It's still not a kill. You're a thunder monster. What do you mean? How? <laughs> how? How are you not dying instantly? I don't understand. Like, what is different here? How much is your symbol boosting you? I mean, that's a decent defense boost, but like, what? What? I'm so annoyed. So your defense is 186. What is my metal morphed up Metal Zoa's defense? With the with the boost, it's like 160. So it's a very, very, very defensive monster. 
Yeah, and yours is 97. Okay, that does actually start to make sense. That actually makes them probably a, a good Thunder Monster. It might be worth taking them instead of a... Uh, uh, shut up. Yeah, it might be worth trying to recruit them instead. They can probably attack Red Eyes from this movement, but... I felt like it made sense to at least go for a shot. So Royal Guard and Machine Attacker are like good Thunder Monsters to use. It's good to know. It took quite a bit of damage. Sure did. Alright, your move, Bakora. Please attack my Metal Zoa. Who knows where this duel will lead? I, 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 you said that earlier, but I really don't know anymore. Either of us could lose at this point. Okay, he retreated. Which I don't think is going to be enough. I think I can match that movement. It's my turn. So I think he's screwed. Yeah. Three attack. Three movement, baby. Let's go, red eyes. Ah. Not used to having an extra cord. Uh, this is for Harpy Lady Sisters. Red Eyes uh, Black Metal really, really coming through. That that movement and attack is pretty gross. And just a very... Just a lot of stats on this monster. Level 4. Alright, AP goes up to 176. That's not great. But I think the boosts are worth it. I'm never going to deny a level up, obviously. But it's I'm going to be annoyed by it. You just do not move, huh? Okay, well... Guess I'll move back over here. Since I've got a little bit more freedom right now. We're coming on you, Pump King. There's still two of us and only one of you. Not for now. You have to move eventually. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I hate you. Hopefully that puts me in a spot where Melzo can hit him, but I suspect it didn't. This Pumpkin's movement has been disgusting. The, they're hitting the exact spots where like they're safe from everything, and it's kind of messed up. Just nothing I can do about it. It's alright, Red Eyes. You put in a very strong fight there. Okay, Metal Morph wore off, and I can't do it again. But I can do this. I don't think it'll kill though, and I can't hit the symbol from here either. As long as I can survive one attack, which I'm not confident in, by the way. Yeah. Fucking just barely. If I was like t a, a level or two higher, I would easily clear this. Uh. Yeah, we'll see. I, I don't know that I survive the next attack. If I survive the attack, I can win. If I don't survive the attack, then we have to do this battle again. <laughs> I think it was a good battle, though. I like, I like, I feel much better about this one compared to the last time I've lost. Like, it didn't feel like I lost this immediately. I feel like I made a couple mistakes here and there, and it didn't throw the entire game. I was still able to like recover a bit. Again, I lost a lot of levels here, which is gonna suck. But I'm just gonna earn them back anyway. Let's see. Please, by all means. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Damn! That sucks. Ugh. But I guess the difference here is that even though I lost that fight, it was fun. I was enjoying myself. Like, it was a good contest. Um, I think I am gonna still bring Dark Magician into the next fight now, and because since we have to do it over again anyway, I think I'll bring him in and try to uh try to evolve him at the start, or try and hit that button like way sooner. Yugi, go duel your pathetic friends. They're the only ones you can ever defeat. Scathing. It's all over. 
I'd like to retry, please. I'd like to retry. Don't make me reload a save, please. Yes. I think he cased me back out to the uh, to the main thing. Yeah, maybe it'll be good. You know, maybe I will just like evolve Dark Magician ahead of time. I mean, I can show how easy it is to do because I think I just I only showed it after it was all set up, um, to for for time reasons, but it's really not that hard to show off. Yeah, that's that's not bad though. I I mean, I only picked that fight because I want to try and level up Dark Magician. I don't think it's an order. Not that the order really matters at this point, but uh, yeah, it was uh, that wasn't too bad. I'm pretty okay with that. The other option is, and I can do this later. I could just like duplicate some of these monsters and then just use them to like train off each other and grind even further. I'm not at that point. I don't I don't want to do that just yet. If I'm getting like wrecked, like my monsters are absolutely crumbling before them, that'd be one thing, but for now that feels a little bit too much like cheating. So I'm just gonna despite the fact that I did level up Harpy, don't don't worry about that. That's fine. Just ignore that. It happened anyway. What was I supposed to do? Just like ignore the levels I got? Come on. Come on, grow up. No, it's fine. I think I I would feel a lot worse about any of this if the game wasn't so fucking brutal. Like the the levels alone, because I was looking at the I'm looking at the base levels uh, of these monsters in like the the base game, and they're all level one. Like every single one of these fights is level one. So the fact that we're fighting level five and six monsters is like significantly more difficult. Uh, and I'm not gonna apologize for that. Okay, you know, listen. Okay, <laughs> listen. Have you ever? Uh, just, you know, yeah, right? You know. I'm speaking of nonsense on purpose to try and distract you. Uh, I think you need to unlock. Yeah, it's only based on the ones that you want to add. Okay. I think Bandit Keith is still enough for this. But I could be wrong. Because it worked for Red Eyes. Um, okay. So we'll go to Treasure Trove. Uh, none of this matters, because we're only doing one monster. There's no anti either, but this is how you do it. You just pick the anti monster. It's like, oh, well, you can have this monster if you win, and it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Let's just start on both. Uh, you can't set the maximum number of monsters beyond what, like, the base game allows. Like, I think some of them only allow eight, some of them allow seven, but... I couldn't find one that did nine. But I'm still, I'm like, again, I'm like excited. Like, now that I know that the rest of these fights have, like, infinite MP. I'm like, that, that's such a genuine game changer. <laughs> like, it's so crazy. Because, like, I get to do all of that, like, I get to li literally just, like, use all the fun monsters. Which is, like, the worst part about the main game. Is that you get all of your sick monsters. But you don't get a chance to use any of them. You can use, like, half of them. Like... Especially if you pick big ones like Exodia or like Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, it's like then you can't use any of them because they're so they take up like half the the monster cost alone or like even like three fourths of it. I think I did show this off when I showed off how to get Harpy Lady Sisters, but I really just want to show just how quick it is. Like you don't have to like add anything to it. I guess I can turn on turbo as well. Summon. And turn. I did this earlier and accidentally hit surrender because I was so used to doing that to like dupe the monsters. Uh, okay, now we can evolve. Yeah, that's so fucking weird. Uh, alright. I guess it, I guess the requirement is like 50 or 60. So yeah, he gains more attack range. He still has the, he has the same attack range as, uh, or he has the diagonal and the forward. His AP goes up. His stats obviously go down, but that's because he's level 1. Uh, his defense goes way up, actually. That's huge. Alright, let's do it.
I didn't realize it was the green dark magician. I don't think I used him to attack. All right, let's, uh, yeah, nice. No ability yet. I think you will get one. Uh, cool. All right, doesn't matter who wins here, but for pride reasons, I wanna let the main account win. Uh, surrender. Yay. Like here it doesn't show Yugi at the end. It's like we don't want either of these players to think that they're not Yugi, so let's <laughs> let's just say like ah this player wins. Don't worry about it. I imagine this could have been pretty fun in like the PS2 era. Like if if I happen to be like, you know, an adult capable of like using strategy. Like using all like the broken monsters against each other in like infinite MP costs. That could be a lot of fun, but I think it's not really <laughs> I don't think it really translates that well. Uh, like on its own I guess I don't know like I think when I played this when I was younger I wasn't like I hadn't played enough games at the time so I didn't really I wasn't the strategic mastermind quite yet I played some strategy games here and there like I played even back when this game no I guess not when this game came out because when I didn't start playing like XCOM and Fire Emblem until like the next generation so I wasn't really a tactical person. I played Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. That's something. And I think I played Normal Tactics at this point, because I played the PSP version. I think that, no, because did that, when did that come out? Probably around the same time as this, but not before it. I know the original version was in 1997, but the PSP version is the one I played. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tune in for the next part. We'll uh, we'll rematch Bakora, hopefully with a, with a dub this time. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye.